actually up in this window right here while I was using the bathroom. I decided to capture him so I could release him into the wild so that he wouldn't uh, bother us by crawling over the bed there. Now, this might freak you out. Um, first of all, let me show you for scale the set of keys. That's to our, to our Suzuki Jimny. And then backing off, that's what I discovered up there in the window. And that dude's big. Keys. The dude. So it kind of looks like a cockroach. That's probably what makes me sound like a wood roach or something like that. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, hold on a minute. I want to book my flight to Costa Rica right now so I can get in on this action. Well, man, I got to tell you, I scream like a man when it took flight, because these dudes fly. And he's going to fly shortly as I release him outside outside on the porch. But uh, I do love bugs, but I certainly have a, a certain prejudice against cockroaches. And I... Uh, saying that, though, we did took a nice tour in Mitch, um, who this was at the... Uh, Butterfly Pavilion thing over there in Monteverde. He actually said these guys are very, very clean. They clean themselves several times a day. They're sterile. He actually, and don't gross out, he actually took a guy like this and put it in his mouth just to show us, you know, how harmless they were. And um, I guess he is harmless. I need to change my attitude about what I consider roaches. He said they help clean up what uh, the messes that we make in the forest and stuff like that. Yeah, look at himself. He's cleaning his face right now. Getting all cleaned up. Okay. I'm sure glad they had this, uh, this thing for me to coax him in there. I used the knife. Uh, he was up there. I used the knife to flip him on the floor. I, I shut the door and kind of sealed it with that mat. And then, man, he jumped up and took flight. That's when I let out my manly scream as I backed into the shower. But under the sink, I finally got him to, uh, to agree to uh, surrender, recaptured. He is quite fascinating. the head of a praying mantis. And just again for a reference. He's about the size of a key. Oh. Oh, looks like he's protecting himself for danger. All right. Sorry, dude. going to be letting Timmy go pretty soon. I'm just not sure where. I don't want him coming back for revenge. I think he knows his release is imminent. Go, senor, go. I'm going to dump him off the edge. Actually, there's uh, some more people down below who now have to deal with him. Oops. <laughs>